Good morning. My name is James Spark. I'm the executive director here at SparkSuper.com. As you may know, prevailing wages has been a popular topic among condos and co-ops this year. And with it, there's been tons of confusion. For instance, who's required to pay prevailing wages? How much does it cost? Are there any exceptions? While many details about prevailing wages is beyond the scope of this video, we wanted to make clear and simple at least one aspect of the prevailing wages law. It's math. Prevailing wages can increase your payroll expenses dramatically. On a basic level, there's a new minimum hourly rate that you're required to pay your building service employee that's higher than the federal minimum wage. On top of that, the laws require you to give what's called a supplemental benefits rate. That's a rate paid per hour on top of the basic hourly rate that covers health insurance, uh, training, and other what I would call lifestyle expenses. And under prevailing wages, your building service employee is now entitled to a minimum number of personal days, sick days, vacation days, and holidays every calendar year. On top of any other days off that the employee is entitled to under the employment laws, these hourly rates and supplemental benefits rate per hour can vary depending upon the different function that the employee plays at the building. For instance, is he a handy person, door person, elevator operator, security guard, and on. And it can vary depending upon when he was hired or how long he's been employed at the building. Obviously, the longer the employment, the higher the pay and the benefits. For buildings that fall under the prevailing wages requirements, condo boards and property managers have been trying to untangle these laws to try to figure out how much to pay their building service employee, what to pay them under the new rates. For other buildings, the city gives them a choice. If they're accepting public benefits like tax abatement, they're required to pay their building service employees prevailing wages. So for these buildings, the calculation has been a source of angst because in the analysis of determining whether to accept the tax abatements or to pay the prevailing wages, that number can deeply affect the budget. So the need to determine the true cost of a building service employee has never been more critical or greater. But to calculate this by hand, counting the days, the months, the weeks of employment can be mind boggling and mistakes are bound to happen. So to help this calculation and do the math quickly, we've created an online tool a calculator that's based off the pay rates required by the New York City Comptroller's Office to help you find the base pay, the supplemental hourly rate, and the other benefits that's required on the prevailing wages, such as the number of sick days and holidays that the employee is now entitled to. But even better, our calculator helps you find the total cost of your building service employee. And this is what I mean by that. Our calculator not only helps you find the gross pay, that's based off of the new hourly rate and the new supplemental benefits rate. It finds for you the oft missed expenses that go along with paying for your building service employee, such as your employer's payroll taxes, workers' compensation, disability, and these are all things that you pay on top of your gross salary for your employee. On top of that, all of the days off that your employee is now entitled to has to be considered in the cost. Most likely, you're going to be finding substitute coverage for those days. These are all costs that may not be paid to the employee directly, but they're costs that you have to consider in this entire analysis. In addition, this calculator also includes another group of items that buildings often miss when calculating their total payroll cost, such as if you provide living quarters to your building service employee, such as a building superintendent, you should consider the fair market rent or the value that you could otherwise receive from renting that unit or using that unit for different amenities that benefit the building. In addition, there might be utilities costs that you pay on behalf of your employee. Putting all of this together gives you the most accurate depiction of how much you pay your building service employee. And with our calculator, you can find all of this out under one minute. So within 60 seconds, you'll find the gross pay for your employee and a complete breakdown of all the benefits that he's receiving, line item by line item. The best part, I think, is that this calculator breaks 
all of that down to cost per hour, which is critical for me to perform the analysis that helps me determine which direction to go and to make those hard decisions. Once again, as a disclaimer, this is only an estimate. Recheck your numbers with a professional financial advisor. Okay, so let's get started. I'm gonna put the timer up here and we're gonna check out this calculator real quick and perform an analysis under 60 seconds. Okay, so this is the prevailing wages calculator page. I'll, send the, I'll put in a link down below. If you scroll down the page a bit, you come to the calculator. Let's start the timer. Okay, we have a, let's say a porter here who is hired, let's say April 6th, uh, 2017. Okay, and uh, so there are some numbers here for you. I'm just gonna whiz past them, but you're gonna be as quick as this after you've done a couple of these. Uh, 40 hours per week gives you a number of overtime hours weekly gross pay, yearly gross pay, everything's pretty much automatic in calculation. Let's say there's two days that he doesn't get from this list in terms of holidays, uh, tells you the number of benefit days that he gets, no matching 401k, let's say he gets a thousand dollars bonus at the end of the year. Um, okay, apartment, let's say it's 1500 per month. Um, yes, stipend, a hundred dollars, let's say for utilities breakdown automatically calculate this for you and workers comp payroll taxes gross pay and there we go we're done let's go back and it's about 58 seconds okay so if you want to see the tutorial in more detail stay on for the second part